Oh my God, guys, today's the day. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous and I'm so excited and I don't know what to think and I don't, you know, this is like, you know, I don't want to say how old I am, guys, but ever since I started voting, this is probably the most exciting election that I've ever gotten the privilege to participate in. So I'm not going to share who I voted for, but you can kind of put it together as to uh, <laughs> all my posts if you go back. But anyway, I hope you guys at least got out there. I hate people that are going to say something and then not do something. So don't be those people. Enjoy the video and I hope this makes you laugh. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Ah! Hi, this is a public announcement, public service announcement. Lo and behold, President Trump announced on the news that he actually downplayed the severity of the virus because he didn't want to alarm people. So thousands of people have died since he told us not to worry about it. And y'all are still thinking, there's people out there that are still thinking they're going to freaking vote for him. They're going to give him a, a no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, don't do it. You're going to get on the computer. You are going to register for, to vote. And if you don't want to go there, get a mail-in ballot immediately. Don't do it. Okay? <laughs> Americans have died from this virus than died in the wars in Iraq, Afghanistan, Vietnam, and Korea combined. Take all those lives bravely sacrificed and double it. The crux of the theory is this belief that you are secretly saving the world from this satanic cult of pedophiles and cannibals. Does that sound like something you are behind? Or well, I haven't, I haven't heard that, but uh, is that supposed to be a bad thing or a good thing? I mean, you know, if, uh, if I can help save the world from problems, I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to put myself out there. And we are, actually. We're saving the world from a radical left. And Bill Trump. Ain't nobody ask you to lie about them stimulus. You ain't have to bring it up if you ain't going to give it to me. Okay? Because you got my hopes up for no reason. Don't do that. Don't do that.
drop me off? They're all gonna laugh at you! How am I gonna get there? They're all gonna laugh at you! I'll walk, I guess. No! Mom, can you pass the salad dressing? No! Please. No! Come on, Mom. No! Hey, everybody. It's Amanda. I just wanted to say one other thing. You know, for all these fucking religious people that has a trouble with me cussing and supporting their little fucker Trump, let me tell you something, you goddamn hypocrites. You want to say something about me cussing, and then you support that motherfucker that wants to cut old people off of Social Security and cut out health care in this pandemic and put kids in cages and... You know, once they get here because y'all fight abortion, then you don't want to do anything to help them. You don't want to feed them. You don't want to help them at all financially. And you don't give a shit if they get educated. So, honey, take your hypocritical ass and go to fucking hell. That's what we think about you. That's what I think. What do you think? Fuck them. 2020. Donald Trump refused to condemn white supremacy. Number two, the President of the United States refused to condemn white supremacy. Number three, the Commander-in-Chief refused to condemn white supremacy on the global stage in front of my children, in front of everybody's families, and he was given the opportunity multiple times to condemn white supremacy. And he gave a wink and a nod to a racist, Nazi, murderous organization that is now celebrating online, that is now saying, we have a go-ahead. Look, look at what the Proud Boys are doing right now online because the President of the United States refused to condemn white supremacy. That's the only thing that happened tonight. That's what happened tonight. The only President Trump declared himself the least racist person there is anywhere in the world. Why does he use racist phrases like the Kung Flu? Well, the president doesn't. I can name Kung Flu. Kung Flu is extremely offensive to many people in the Asian American community. To be clear, are you saying the White House does not believe it is racist? To be clear, I think the media is trying to play games uh, with the terminology of this virus. The media has never called it the Kung Flu. Calling it the Chinese coronavirus and calling it the Kung Flu are very different the media, things. Does the president regret using that term? The president never regrets putting the onus back on China. Does the president agree with Kellyanne Conway or is he now saying that that term is not highly offensive and wrong? Because again, that was Kellyanne Conway's own words saying Kung Flu is wrong. The president does not believe it's offensive to note that this virus came from China. Keep it together, Don. Keep it together. Okay, okay, okay. Let's take a breath. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. No big deal, right? COVID's no big deal. Tell them it's no big deal. Just tell them. I got a message for all you liberals out there. You want my gun, my firearm? Come take it from me. Just walk through my door, come into my home, and take it from me. With your weak, soft, liberal, girlish hands. Just try to put those hands on me those soft liberal hands put them on me on my body just slowly gently dragging your fingers up and down my arm giving me goosebumps you want my gun come kiss me for it but not like right away don't be too obvious with it let's do that thing where we our faces get close to each other and you know what's going to happen it's just a matter of time you just stare at each other's lips but you're waiting for the right signal to give yourself over to them completely like in a walk to remember come do that for my gun bite my lip and play with my hair for my fire wrong. If you want my gun, come spank me for it. Not like, not, not like too hard, but like, like, still hard, you know? Like, 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 hurt me, but make me feel safe at the same time. <laughs> Pussy liberals. Go register to vote. Right now. Go. Well, guys, if you made it to the end of this video, then I'm assuming that you will not be voting for Trump. <laughs> and that you appreciate this video. <laughs> uh, look in my description and in my uh, comments. I'm going to put some 
pretty cool links in there for you guys. Uh, you got the holidays coming up. You might want to start your shopping. And I'm here to help you out. So with that being said, I hope you liked the video. Take a moment to like and subscribe and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, tomorrow is the big freaking day. And I'm really, like I said, I'm excited. I'm nervous. I'm all those things. This is freaking history in the making. So we'll see what happens, you know. Will we get another four years of this guy or will we get the other guy? You know, you want one old guy or the other old guy? <laughs> Uh, we're so fucked. So, uh, <laughs> love you guys. Thank you for everything. Talk to you soon. Bye. And Dear Trump, ain't nobody asked you a lot about them stimulus. You ain't have to bring it up if you ain't gonna give it to me. Okay? Because you got my hopes up for no reason. Don't do that. Don't do that.